Ashishwa Sirajan and today we are going to talk about the company incorporation procedure. In the previous video, we already have discussed the various types of businesses in India. If you haven't watched it yet, you can find the video in the description box below. Today we are going to discuss more about the general procedure of incorporating a company. As you might be aware, companies can be incorporated in various forms in India some of which are public companies, private companies, one-person companies, etc. Though there are many deviations in the document required and compliances after incorporation of a company, the basic procedure of incorporation is the same for all the companies. Let us now dive into the procedures and the details or the documents required for company incorporation. The step-by-step -step process of company incorporation is as follows. The first one is name application. The most important step in company incorporation is the name application and reservation. A unique name shall be chosen for your proposed company. Initial name availability checks shall be done with the MCA portal or IP India portal before applying. Two names can be applied for at a time and a second chance for submitting two other names is given through resubmission which makes it a total of four names against a single name application. Once the name application is verified and approved by the MCA, the name is reserved on your behalf for the next 20 days, within which the company incorporation form shall be submitted. The time required for the name approval usually ranges from 2 to 4 working days. The second one is digital signature. Generally, the proposed directors and shareholders need to obtain the digital signature certificate to digitally sign the company incorporation forms. The identity proof of the director is required for obtaining digital signature certificate along with your video verification. It can be obtained within a single day which is completely an online procedure. The third one is incorporation forms filing. Once we are through the name reservation, we need to fill and file the incorporation forms which include Spice Plus Part B, Memorandum of Association, Article of Association and Agile form with the MCA. Now let us look into these forms in detail. The first one is Spice Plus Part B. The details of proposed directors, shareholders and basic incorporation such as the location and nature of business activities are declared in the Spice Plus form. The identity and address proof of proposed directors and shareholders of the company, their consent and declaration shall be required to be attached with the Spice Plus form. The second one is the Memorandum of Association. The business activities or the objectives of your company along with the capital and shareholding clauses shall be defined and documented in the memorandum of association. The next one is the articles of association. The internal policies, procedures and powers of your company shall be defined and documented in the articles of association. The last form is the agile form. The agile form is used to register for GST, ESI, EPF and Open Bank account at the time of company incorporation. These forms shall be filled up and the required documents shall be attached with these forms and uploaded in the MCA portal within 20 days from the date of name approval. Once the incorporation forms with the required documents are uploaded, the MCA shall verify and approve the company incorporation. Normally, the approval of a company incorporation takes about 7 to 10 days for processing and issuing the certificate of incorporation. The whole procedure from the name application to obtaining the certificate of incorporation consumes around 2 to 4 weeks based on the availability of the required documents. Now once the company is incorporated, the following compliances should be ensured for the proper conduct of business. In this, the first one is registered office. The place of business or registered office can be notified to the MCA at the time of incorporation itself at the discretion of the company. However, there is an option to notify the registered office within 30 days of incorporation by filing the form INC 22 separately. Next, auditor appointment. The company may at its discretion appoint the auditor within the 30 days of incorporation of the company or 15 days from the annual general meeting by filing the form 81. Next one is share certificate. The paid up share capital as declared in the incorporation forms shall be deposited in the bank account opened in the name of the company within 60 days from the date of incorporation and the share certificate shall be issued to the shareholders within this stipulated time. Now let's talk about commencement of business. The company shall file the commencement of business form 
aka INC 20A within 180 days from the date of incorporation of the company after depositing the paid up share capital in the company's bank account. Lastly, annual filings. The company shall keep record of all the financial transactions and prepare financial statements along with other statutory reports shall be filed with the MCA through the forms AOC4 and MGT7 within the prescribed time from the end of each financial year. That's a brief about the company incorporation procedures and the post-incorporation compliances. Now, let us quickly go through the details and documents required for the company incorporation. For this, you will need PAN card and other of shareholders and directors, latest bank statement, driving license or passport or voter's ID, director identification number if any directors or the shareholders is the director of another company, photograph of the directors, rent agreement or NOC or building tax receipt of the registered office, electricity bill or telephone bill of the registered office. I hope you got an understanding about the procedures of company incorporation. We will see you in the next video. Till then, bye.